The Italian Coast Guard has embarked on one of its biggest ever migrant rescue missions. Officials say they coordinated the rescue of more than 3,000 migrants in waters just off the Libyan coast. The operation was launched after distress calls were received from 22 overcrowded boats in inflatable dinghies. Sophia Tran Thompson has this report. Relief as dozens of men, women and children arrive safely in Italy. They are alive after surviving the journey from Libya. The Mediterranean Sea has become the world's most deadly crossing point for migrants. Already, more than 2,300 people have died this year attempting to reach Europe. But that's hardly a deterrent. The sight of dangerously overcrowded boats like this appearing on the horizon is becoming more frequent for the Italian Coast Guard. On Saturday, the number of migrants quickly reached the thousands after distress calls from more than 20 boats were received. Along with Navy ships and Coast Guard patrol, Doctors Without Borders also rescued around 300 people. Fourteen rescued migrants were sick or injured. One border police commander told reporters the number of dangerous vessels attempting the crossing has been rising over the last week. We rescued 287 migrants. They came from countries outside Europe. They have various nationalities, Syrians, Eritreans, Somalis. They were navigating the southern Ionian Sea on a fishing boat 20 metres long. Most of the migrants have been taken to ports in southern Italy, but it's unclear where they will go next. For now, rescue operations continue after reports that more migrants and refugees are headed for Italy. Sophia Tran-Thompson, BBC News.